สมดัชมูฮาบาวทับปะไดฮุนมานัยในยุรอดมันตรัยในกัมพูชีบานอันเชิญเชียทับปะไดเพียบนงเวติกาธุรกิจกัมพูชีบารังในปรักไงตีดับปรามคายมะกราชนำปีปอนมาเผยบุญในตีกรงปารีประเทศบารังได้สหการรีบจอมดอยสัพพีเป็นเจกรรมกัมพูชีสหปอนนิยจุบารังเมเดสสัพพีเป็นเจกรรมนังอุสหกรรมบารังในกัมพูชีนังตีปรักษาเป็นเจกรรมกลายประเทศบารังกลุ่มน้องสำคัญในเวทีการนี้คือดำใบจมรงวิญญาณนั่งเป็นกิจกรรมระเวียงปฏิทินปีจีพีเซตอบจอบตำแหน่งตำแหน่งระเวียงธุรกิจหนึ่งธุรกิจขนมอกกาอ้อมดำน้ำสำหรับทับปะไดฮุนมานัยในอกยักษ์เกิดเมงปฏิทินสัพพีเป็นกิจกรรมกัมพูชีนั่งเกี่ยวปฏิทินกรมปรึกษาปีครูยุบอลธุรกิจอาเซียนสำหรับกัมพูชีบานพลายซันตรากธาสวากุมนั่งจมเรียบวิญญาณกันบารังอัมพีสักดานุปุลนั่งกาลานวัตเตพิบดอตุลุมตุลีระบอกกัมพูชีนั่งบานเป็นเจ้าถ้ากัมพูชีได้ระเบิดระบายคลังคางประสาทโบราณนั่งประวัติศาสตร์ดอพูพองไอเลนิกำปงริจมรันคลังคลาเศรษฐกิจกัมพูชีกำปงลุดลวดเตมุกโดยสากำลังโปลกรรมวิเคมิงประกอบโดยธรรมปุลที่ตั้งภูมิศาสตร์ยุทธศาสตร์ในอาเซียนนั่งกาปรัชญาขนมกาบงการปริยากาลอประสาสำหรับธุรกิจกัมพูชีมันตรมตายเชี่ยตึกใดในประสาทอังกฤษวัดปนตีกัมพูชีคือเชี่ยตึกใดในกาลานวัตเตพิพองได้เนอเนี้ยกึศเมงบรรทอดถ่าบารังคือเชี่ยได้กู้เป็นจิกรรมนั่งวิญญาณดอกทอมวยระบอกกัมพูชีกาวิญญาณโดยตัวระบอกกรมหุ่นทอมทอมบารังรูมินโตตัลเอนจีวินซีนั่งเอ็กโคบานรูมจำนายดอลกาอภิวัตสิทธิกิจสังคมกัมพูชีบังการกาทเฟนังเตยปัจจัยกาวิจีลูกฟรังส์ฟอร์โกบังอนุประทินสหปอนในยูจูบารังเมเดสบานทลายถ่าเมเดสจีสหกุมชินมุกเกย์ภายในธุรกิจได้เมียนกรมหุ่นจราจรเกินในบารังดัลบานปุงริติปซาตกันบอร์เตลูกบานบรรทอดถ่าบารังบานกอดสมกอลเคยถ่ากัมพูชีมีการริจมรันเลือกรุ่งวิสัยจีปิเซเฮธาราชนาสมปอนกาอภิวัตติกรงกาดักจินจูนวิสัยธามาปุลโลจิสติกกาสิกรรมโดยชนะกรมหุ่นบารังหนึ่งคัดคอมจมรุนกาวินิยกเตกัมพูชีสำหรับทัพประเดชหุ่นมานายบานทลายกากรสสายดอลวิสัยไอจิจุนในประเทศต่างฟีกัมพูชีบารังดัลมินสัพพีเป็นเจกรรมกัมพูชีหนึ่งสหปอนในจุจุบารังเมเดฟสัพพีเป็นเจกรรมนั่งอุตสาหกรรมบารังในกัมพูชีนั่งตีปรึกษาเป็นนิจกรรมกลายประเทศบารังได้แต่งแต่ขัดคอมจมรุนกิจสหประชาบัตรการเศรษฐกิจสำหรับทัพประเดชกบันทลายจมรุนเลิกตึกจัดวิญญาณกันบารังสไวน์โรกาลานวัตเพียบวิญญาณในกัมพูชีเลวิสัยสักดานุปลสำหรับทัพประเดชบันจมรุนเลิกตึกจัดกรมหุ่นบารังนั่งกัมพูชีสไวน์โรกไดกูนั่งวิญญาณบันทันในกัมพูชีนั่งกรมหุ่นบารังบำเพ็ญตุสนาเกตในกัมพูชีนั่งสไวน์โรกาลานวัตเพียบธุรกิจเชียบันโตสมตามดานประสาทสำหรับทัพประเดชเราต้องการที่จะเปลี่ยนแปลงสังคมของประเทศเราให้มีความสัมพันธ์ระหว่างประเทศเราและประเทศเพื่อนบ้านเราให้มีความสัมพันธ์ระหว่างประเทศเรา
We have politics, we have diplomatic and economics. And with our priority is trade and economic engagement. Because we believe that trade economics is a pillar by connecting people to people. It's connecting the open the windows to realities. The presence of, for example, French companies such as Vinci, Accor, many groups in there is resonate in the French business community and French societies of the stabilities and confidence and the connection between France and Cambodia. For this reason, today's forum marks another chapter of engagement. Cambodia and France share a long interconnected history. Despite geographical distance, as French architecture, culture, food, language, administrative, and legal system are still visible in various aspects of Cambodian society. We have embarked on a collect collaborative journey where French finance meets Cambodian dynamism, sustainable practices, fuel inclusive growth, and shared values pave the way for a brighter future. Most importantly, France played a crucial role in the 1991 peace accord agreement, leading to the first general election in 1993, paving the way for deeply rooted multi-party democracy in Cambodia. With the end of civil war in 1998 resulted from the win-win policy of some Dick Joe Hotsen, our former prime ministers, Cambodia has enjoyed peace, stability, political stability, and prosperity for more than two decades. On the basis, on this basis, Cambodia has achieved remarkable economic success, boasting an average annual growth rate of over seven percent before the pandemic. This momentum has continued even amidst global challenges, with a projected growth of 5.6% in 2023 and a promising 6.6% for 2024. Further, according to FDI intelligence, Cambodia has gained considerable FDI momentum for 2024, earning 96.1% 96.11 out of 100 making it top the list among world's top 50 FDI, FDI destination and FDI standouts watch list in 2024. France has always been an essential development partner, contributing significantly to Cambodia's remarkable economic success. To be specific, from 1993 to 2023, France has provided 930 million euro in cooperating finance, which include 217 million euro in grant, 547 million in sovereign loans, 143 million euro in non-sovereign loan, and 23 million in guarantee. guarantee. At the same time, France continued to provide tertiary education, scholarship to Cambodian students and various fields such as law, medicine, and engineering. In terms of economic cooperation, France remains one of Cambodia's largest European investments and trade partners. Bilateral trade with France thrived, amounting to 515 million in 2023. In a wider context, Cambodia's trade with European Union, including France, amounting 4.6 billion in 2023. Regarding investment, in the previous year, French companies like Total Energies, Vinci, Architect, Architect, Bread Bank, and Accor have established strong footholds in infrastructure, energy, services, and tourism. This direct investment contributes to job creations, skill transfer, and infrastructure development laying the foundation for substantial economic growth. We hope that in the years to come, this number will grow. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, in the context of regional and global uncertainties due to geopolitical tensions, protectionism, and so on, Cambodia still firmly believes that free and open market 
and economic cooperation remain a key driver for common development and prosperity. In this spirit, Cambodia and France must continue our long history and further strengthen our economic partnership. In particular, there remains a huge potential for French businesses to grow and expand in Cambodia, especially in existing sectors that are ripe for innovations and investments such as agriculture, food processing, electrical and electronics, renewable energy, healthcare, education, and information technology, as well as pioneering sectors offering first mover advantage such as automotive, innovations, and digital transformation, green technology and sustainable development, healthcare and medical research and cultural and creative industries. Cambodia has a lot to offer to investors with a mix of competitive advantages and unique opportunities that make it an increasingly attractive destination. Please allow me to provide some key highlights as follows. One, the royal government firmly safeguards the hard-earned peace and political stability as the core principles of value for Cambodia as a whole to create a secure environment for long-term business operations. Second, Cambodia sits at the heart of Southeast Asia a strategic location granting access to dynamic regional markets. Cambodia is an open economy and quickly integrated itself in regional and global market with embracing bilateral and multilateral FTAs, granting investor preferential access to diverse market, enabling the business to reach new height. To be specific, Investors in Cambodia have access to Mekong sub-region market, which is home to over 300 million people. A member of ASEAN with population of over 660 million people, and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, ASEAN, with population of 2.3 billion people, and a GDP of $25.8 trillion. On top of that, the country also has bilateral FTAs with China, Korea, and comprehensive economic partnership agreement with UAE. Three, to optimize the benefit of the access to competitive export and diversify markets. Cambodia is expanding infrastructure, connectivity to integrate and connect Cambodia's transport network to the country's major economic hubs as key economic corridors, as well as linking with the neighboring countries and major export hubs in the regions. In this connection, Cambodia has invested heavily in major infrastructure, such as Phnom Penh, Sihanouk World Expressway, which opened for public use a year ago. The Phnom Penh Bawet Expressway, which is currently under construction, and scheduled to be completed in 2027. And the Phnom Penh Siem Reap Poipet Expressway, which has undergone a feasibility study and plan for future construction. Additionally, the launch and the construction of more international airports and deep sea port will be commissioned in the next few years. Four, the royal government actively fosters an investment-friendly environment to attract both domestic and foreign capitals. Through a series of comprehensive laws, policies, and strategies, we continuously strive to enhance the business <coughs> and investment landscape by introducing key and bold measures across all sectors to ensure that investors that can come and invest with confidence. Also, Cambodia actively encourage foreign investment by adhering to the principle of openness, transparency, and predictability, and competitiveness on the level playing field without discrimination, and offering generous tax break up to nine years, investment guarantees, and streamlined business registration process. This makes Cambodia, this makes it easier and more cost effective for foreign business to set up and operate in the countries. 
In addition to attracting new investments in Cambodia, I have attracted our various agencies, looking at not just bringing people to our home, but make sure that we keep our house in order so that business that come have a chance to expand and to work easily. So they will more bring their friends to come. And this is the measures that we will take more and more. Every year we have, every two years. Uh, this year, in the past, in November 13, I had, after two months in the government, we held a private sector business forum. Private sector and government. I forgot. I almost mixed up. But the idea is to have the top government sit and listen to private sectors. What are the concern? What is the issues that we can solve? And this is not the first time that we did it. Former government, former prime ministers and Dr. Gilbertson has initiated and has implemented on many years. We understand that there's a lot of things that we have to cover, but it's not what is fixed in the paper that make it work is the continuations, what we call m &E, monitoring and evaluations, consultations with private sectors to see what we can do to solve and to try to make our countries better, more flexible environment for business that operate. This we will continue to hold and on many issues and reform that the government has done on tax code, we have implemented through results of the consultations. We have taken measures to implement and to structure new process. For example, SOP on tax code and others. We listen to the new businesses that's coming in. We have established new form of special economic zones and try to deal with, provide solutions or creative solutions to attract more business. We try to find flexible solution and accommodation to specific industries and industries from specific countries. Front businesses, the same. We will be open and we are willing to listen and to see what we can structure specific to encourage and to make it even easier for businesses to do because there's no code there's no rule that can stay forever without reform without review the world is changing asia pacific is the bright spot but every country in asia pacific is changing we have to keep moving in order to stay competitive. To stay competitive is mean that structure ourselves, listen to our partners in business and others, and try to find ways to keep up with the demand and changing world. <laughs> Fifth, Cambodia is open to foreign business ownership and is free capital repatriation. Particularly, Cambodia allows 100 foreign ownership in most sectors, except land ownership and allows investors to freely purchase foreign currencies and repatriate those foreign currencies. Six, while having an abandoned young workforce with a competitive wage, Cambodia has embarked on an ambitious skill development program to provide vocational and technical training for around 1.5 million youth from poor and vulnerable households across the nation. The royal government will support and facilitate these youth in seeking decent jobs with high wages and sufficient protections. Seven, around 60% of our energy sources come from renewable. This could be a great valuable proposition for investment in Cambodia and will help to contribute to further enhancing business profile in Cambodia. Government has put 
an aim of having net zero emission by 2050. And we will push the renewable energies to from currently 62% to 60% by 2030. So this is a very strong commitment, but we think this is a contribution that Cambodia can do, just like France, just like eight countries. We're not seeking development of our world at the present time, but we want to leave a good footprint for our future generation and a room for future growth and sustainable growth. So this is one of Cambodia's commitment and the continuation of Cambodia government policies toward that. So this presents also a big opportunities for private sector to join in in these new technologies. Last but not least, I would like to take this opportunity to inform the royal government of Cambodia has implemented the Pentagon strategy, an overarching socioeconomic development strategy, clearly emphasizing the commitment of the royal government to continue to prioritize private sector development as a key catalyst for sustainable, inclusive, and resilient growth. The royal government will continue to provide support and assistance to private sector at all stages of business and strengthen the public-private dialogue and partnership. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I have given you convinced for reasons to make informed decisions to invest in Cambodia, or at least to visit Cambodia if you have not visited. Especially this time, if you want to get away from below zero. <laughs> <laughs> Cambodia is also winter, but our winter is about 30 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> to take advantage of what Cambodia can offer, as well as to contribute to Cambodia's economic development. I would like to invite you to explore and engage with Cambodia's potential and prospect of mutually beneficial cooperation and partnership. Cambodia is ready to welcome you and provide full support as well as warm hospitality. Finally, I wish this forum a success and wish Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and all distinguished guests good health and success in your endeavors. And I now declare the opening of the French Cambodia Business Forum. Thank you very much.